Hello Aries, it's Milady from Milady's Way Tarot and I'm coming to do your weekly weekend reading for the weekend of, oh, what is this, <laughs> July 30th, nope, <laughs> July 3rd, 2020. The cards I'm using today are Deviant Moon by Patrick Valenza. Valenza. I want to thank everybody for like, sharing, subscribers, and subscribing <laughs> and setting up personal readings for me. All right, guys, let's get this show on the road. All right, so I got these new cards, y'all, and they're kind of creepy, <laughs> but they they're very uh very deep, but they scary. Okay, so forewarning. I'm gonna try to remember to forewarn everybody. But I um I did a party not too long ago, and I grabbed these. And they looked it pretty neat, but then when I opened them, I'm like, holy smokes. All right, but let's get this going, all right? So right here, we got the lover's card reversed here. So I do feel like somebody is falling um, possibly out of love or falling in love with someone from the outside or somebody in on the outside could be falling in love with someone that's in a relationship, okay? This also makes me feel like somebody may be choosing, got a choice to make, okay? And I feel like I got a choice to make, but... I just got to do it. This is what I have to do. Okay. This is just what I have to do. All right. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Aries, Aries. All right. So we got the moon card here. So I do feel like some kind of secrets are getting ready to come out, okay? Mm. So I do feel like somebody may be secretly um, coming to a choice that they have to make. Um, or somebody's getting ready to secretly tell you that they love you, okay? Secret crush. All right, so we got the knight of swords here. Oh, goodness. All right, so whatever this choice is coming from, I do feel like, or, or this, I feel like, if it's not a choice, I feel like it's being pushed on someone. I do feel like somebody is watching you, okay? Or you could be watching somebody that you um, got a crush on. So it's a little bit creepy. Maybe it's because the cards. But it's like somebody likes somebody and um, it's just like a you going to have me kind of thing, okay? You're going to have me. Or I know you'll have me. Somebody just got a lot of faith that they're going to make this situation turn out the way they want it, okay? All right, so we got the Queen of Cups here. These cards just ruining everything because <laughs> it look like it could be just like a secret crush. But with these cards, it's like, you know, it don't make it look like a, you know, a good thing. But from it sounds like it sounds like a good thing. But it also could just be just a little creepy because, you know, you got somebody that's like you, somebody, but this person that like you, I think you do got a hint that they like you. They doing like all this little tiny extra stuff, giving you what you need. You'll mention something. Next thing you know, they sending it to you. So I do feel like, um, okay, that's where it is. I do feel like. You know that this person like you, but I do feel like with that lover's card refers, I feel like somebody may be in a relationship already or they feel obligated to make a choice, okay? It's just like, a, okay, I need to tell this person this, you know, or I need to deal with this person because they do so much or I need to stop dealing with this person because it could affect my relationship, okay? Mm -hmm. Or affect my job. Maybe it's a job situation. All right, so we got the Queen of Pentacles here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I do feel like somebody is definitely offering some kind of relationship, um, offering some kind of uh, love, offering money, offering things. It's just like whatever you want, I can give it to you, okay? But it's like somebody is watching you to try to let you know this, try to tell you this, okay? You can tell these cards are new. All right, spoke too soon. All right, so we got the three of cups here. Yeah, so somebody is in a relationship, okay? And I do feel like somebody from the outside is giving gifts to try to um, get inside of the relationship, okay? It's like, mm. All right, so we got the wheel of fortune here. So I do feel like, yeah, somebody is having a good old time, okay? I do feel like everything, uh, things are balance the things are going in your favor you know but i do feel like somebody feel a little bit bad because of this person like like them and 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 like you and you're in a relationship okay could be the other way around okay all right so hmm 
Six of Cups here. Okay, so I do feel like some kind of balance when it comes to emotion. Oh, look at that. We got the good and the evil, supposedly. I do feel like... Um, I do feel like somebody's getting ready to be like at balance when it comes to in a relationship, but it's crazy because I don't know if it's the cards or what, but it makes me feel like somebody's been flirting with people on the outside. So I feel like the other person is getting ready to start sort of flirting or let somebody on the outside flirt with them. Okay. That's what I'm feeling like there. All right. So we got the chariot card reversed here. So I do feel like whatever this is, it happened quick. Like first it was just like, oh, let's go to lunch. Oh, I'll buy you ice cream. Okay. Next thing you know, this person's sending the flowers. Okay. So I do feel like whatever this is, it's going to start. And then next thing you know, it's just going to blow up, whatever it is. All right. But that's all I have for you guys. Make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs. Thanks for watching.